The traditional uh, risk prediction models for primary prevention of cardiovascular disease were developed in historical cohorts and using classical risk factors. So now it is becoming increasingly clear that these risk functions do not perform well in contemporary populations. Well, we took uh, advantage, uh, we leveraged our uh, ongoing research program on genes, environment, and health, and the electronic medical record in Northern California, Kaiser Permanente, to test whether four different genetic risk scores constructed using uh, between eight and 55 uh, genetic loci were um, predictors of future risk of uh, coronary disease in, in patients with uh, European ancestry. What we found was that uh, all four genetic risk scores provided robust prediction for future incident of uh, coronary heart disease above and beyond classical risk factors, and even after considering family history of heart disease. Moreover, our modeling indicated that the addition of these genetic risk scores provided significant improvement in reclassification of subjects, which has clinical implication. For example, uh, this um, test, the genetic risk scores, would be very useful when a patient is in the intermediate risk subset but has a high genetic risk score. And that could trigger a discussion uh, with the physician or the cardiologist to initiate a more aggressive uh, treatment. These uh, genetic risk scores uh, have been developed in Europe. They are uh, available in the European market, but they don't have FDA approval in the United States just yet. As I indicated early, this test is most useful for patients that are at intermediate coronary risk, and those are typically those patients who have a Framingham risk score between 10 and 20%. So if these patients have a high genetic risk score, uh, there should be a, an indication or a trigger for a discussion for uh, perhaps a more aggressive um, uh, management uh, of the patient risk factors. The take home <laughs> message is uh, our data are consistent with the notion that incorporating genetic risk information into risk prediction models uh, improves our ability to classify individuals and therefore has potential clinical implications. And this approach um, actually may bring us closer to the realization of precision medicine.